do you feel offensively about your ability to, to execute the offense today and, and, and keep, this game, keep this team in a position to, to win it at the end? I thought I thought we did a nice job all day. Um, they presented some stuff up front that was a little different than some stuff we had seen. Um, they did a really nice job changing looks up, and I was really proud of our guys, especially up front, uh, the way they communicated and got us into um, got us out of some bad plays and into some better plays. And I thought we did a nice job preventing a lot of a lot of negative plays tonight. And that's a, a testament to the guys up front doing a really really good job communicating and uh, and staying with me at the line of scrimmage. Aaron, what was it like to go on the field there for that last drive? And when was the last time you were in a situation like that with a chance to win the game? Um, obviously, it's been a while. Um, you know, I, but but that's what you live for as a quarterback. That's what you live for as a football player. And um, unfortunately, there those last two drives, I just couldn't make enough plays for us to uh, to to finish that one off. But. Uh, that that's that's the type of thing that you that you dream about, and that's the type of situation that you live for as a as a as as a quarterback. Garrett, I was watching you after that final throw as the game ended, and you kind of just stood there. You had your hands on your hips, took off your helmet, and kind of just watching it all processing in front of you. What was going on in your mind as that game ended? I mean, losing sucks, you know. Um, I, I I just I, I felt like. Um, I felt like we, our guys played really hard today and played really well, and, and we deserved a chance to win that game. And you know, obviously, we, we gave ourselves that chance, but uh, it's just tough when you, uh, you know, when when all of us together put everything into that thing and then um, come up short. Can you describe what the last play was designed to do, and, and how did you see it unfold? Yeah, um, we're pushing everyone vertical, and then um, and then had CD. Uh, Coming across the front front the the well the the front line of the end zone and um, I, you know there was a chance for it um, moved up in the pocket a little bit and I uh, I just missed him a little too far inside I think he had a shot at at maybe making a catch there I just I gotta you know give him a better better ball. You seem pretty comfortable, Garrett. Uh, is that fair to say? And uh, how would that have compared to what you might have thought going into a first career start? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I felt pretty comfortable out there, and I, you know, that I think that's just, you know, I, I think as an offense, we did a great job preparing all week um, and getting ready to play against a great defense. And I, you know, I felt like our coaching staff and 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 this entire team did a great job getting ourselves ready to play. And um, you know when you're when you're obviously when you're prepared you feel feel more comfortable out there. I don't know what I expected um, going into the first one, but um, it was uh, it was exciting to get out there and play and and uh, and get to lead those guys. Garrett, when did you know you were going to get the start today, and how would you say your experience around the league, even if it wasn't in game, helped you be ready for that? Um, obviously, you know it was sort of a, a week long deal, but. Um, I think that was that was the biggest thing was just you know getting myself ready to play regardless of of uh, regardless of you know who it was going to be. That's that's something that I talked about this week was getting myself ready to play and watching some guys that I've been fortunate enough to be around uh, drawing that drawing on that experience that you talked about. I've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of guys um, who have done it for a long time uh, under limited reps, and so I, I, that's something that I always draw on when I'm preparing is just you know. My time watching those guys take it back to last year: Drew Stanton, Derek Anderson, in in, in Carolina, Dan Orlovsky, um, and and Sean Hill, my rookie year. All those guys were great influences on me as far as uh, how I prepare for games, and um, you know, so this week was no different, right? You know, I was I was getting myself ready to play, um, regardless of which reps I was in there and which reps I wasn't. Um, that's that's. Uh, yeah, you know, you got you got to take advantage of those reps that you're not in there and 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 get them mentally. What happened on the interception? Um, they just they, you know they. I think I was just trying to throw the ball over Sed's head out of the back of the end zone, and somebody got underneath my ribs, and the ball kind of fluttered. Um, it was a good play by them, and a great play by Minka to go, uh, go make the catch. How did 
tell him how to get you ready for this week and how did you feel like that worked getting through I'm sorry, one more time. How did Helen Moore help get you ready for the week and how did you feel like the communication was between you and him today? Yeah, Kellen did a great job preparing us this week, um, as he does every week. Um, it was uh, certainly a, a great challenge that we had in front of us. This defense is one of the best in the league. Um, they, uh, they they do a really nice job getting after the passer. and um, Obviously, we knew going into it, it was going to be a, uh, a tough challenge. Um, we had some quick game there kind of early on in the game to get, get things settled in and sort of try and slow them down a little bit. Um, but uh, I thought I thought our you know our whole staff and our really our whole team, especially on, you know obviously the guys that you know I was preparing with the offensive guys. I thought we did a, a great job preparing for this one. You've been, you've been waiting so long to have this opportunity. You've been waiting so long to have this opportunity. Does this kind of whet your appetite to want it more and be back out there again here in a couple of weeks? Always, um, you know I uh, obviously as a competitor, you know every every one of us wants to be out there playing. Um, and um, certainly, yeah, it's been a long journey to, to get here, and um, it's, uh, I think it makes it a little bit even tougher to swallow just not being able to finish that one off and, um, and, and get a victory in my first one. Jared, obviously it wasn't the results you guys wanted, but how was it throwing passes to Amari Cooper instead of uh, trying to play scout team defensive back against him like you did in Oakland? Um, it was a lot of fun. I, uh, the guys, the guys, the receivers that we have here are obviously incredibly talented and, um, it's, uh, it's a blast to get to throw to them every day. Um, I thought they did an awesome job all afternoon. Um, you know, it's not, it's not easy, obviously on anyone on the offense to be going through four quarterbacks in the, in the course of nine games, um, or yeah, um, and so it's uh, it's a real testament to those guys the fact that they just keep their head down and keep working and they're uh, can't say enough about all the guys in that room, to the tight end room, running back room, and and, and up front they uh, they come to work every day and so it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun to answer your question it's a lot of fun to get to throw those guys but it's it's great to get to be around the rest of those, the rest of this offense too. Been, uh, you know, you, you waited a long time for today. You waited a long time for this whole week leading up. When you look back at this game or the week, uh, for you, what parts of it are you going to hold tightest to you as you reflect on this whole this whole experience for you? Um, I think that's kind of a, a tough one to answer right now, just because you know um, we we didn't find a way to to finish that one off and, and get a victory. Um, but I, you know, I, I certainly enjoyed the the preparation aspect of it and getting this opportunity. Um, like I said, I just I wish we uh, wish we could have finished it off and and uh, and gotten a victory. Here, you had one scramble, I believe it was in the second quarter, where you went right and kind of ended up by the defense guys and the Hunter on the bench and Demarcus and John, and they had a lot of energy. Do you remember that moment? And if so, what did it mean to see how high the defense was when you were scrambling? Um, well, obviously I'm not very fast, but uh, you know I, I feel like one, you know the. the some of the things they were doing defensively presented a couple opportunities for some scrambles there in the second quarter. But um, you know, I, I think um, again, it's 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 not easy uh, for any team to go through three, four quarterbacks during during the course of the season. But um, I think it just you know it shows a lot about these guys, right? You know, we're we're, we're going to continue to fight no matter what, and um, and continue to uh, uh, you know get after everyone we play against and so it was and I, I think I said this this week I, I felt you know involved and felt like I was a part of things since the first day I got here um, you know a little bit more so this week obviously uh, get, getting a chance to start but um, this uh, this team's welcomed me in since day one so yeah certainly it's it's that's you know that's an exciting feeling to get over there on the sideline you've got the whole team uh, uh, you know hyped up. You're just coming off the game. You only get a few minutes to process. But do you have any sense of what the next week looks like for you, given that regardless of who starts after the bye, that was the last week? I don't. Um, I don't think my mindset changes at all. Um, I've been here four weeks now, and every day I go to work with the goal of improving myself as a player and being the best quarterback I can be for this team, and that's what I'll continue to do every day um, going into this bye week and beyond.